the good old days. As a white person, I can openly and unabashedly reminisce about the good old days. Romanticized recollections of the past and calls for a return to former ways are a function of white privilege, which manifests itself in the ability to remain oblivious to our racial history. Claiming that the past was socially better than the present is also a hallmark of white supremacy. Consider any period in the past from the perspective of people of color. 246 years of brutal enslavement, the rape of black women for the pleasure of white men, and to produce more enslaved workers. The selling off of black children, the attempted genocide of indigenous people, Indian removal acts and reservations, indentured servitude, lynching and mob violence, sharecropping. China's exclusion laws, Japanese American internment, Jim Crow laws of mandatory segregation, black codes, bans on black jury service, bans on voting, imprisoning, People for unpaid labor, medical sterilization and experimentation, employment discrimination, educational discrimination, inferior schools, bias laws, and policing practices, redlining and subprime mortgages, mass incarceration, racist media representations, cultural erasures, attacks, and mocking, and untold and perverted historical accounts. And you can see how a romanticized part past is strictly a white construct. But it is a powerful construct because it calls out to a deeply internalized sense of superiority and entitlement and the sense that any advancement for people of color is an encroachment on this entitlement.